Hey everybody, I'm trying out a new format. It is not a music video, it is more of a Science of Tom Explains a Scientific Journey, thanks to the folks at DreamUp. If you like what you see, please let me know so I can make more of these. It's time for a science question. When you see astronauts doing cool stuff in the International Space Station, why is everything always floating? Uh, I know, it's because they're so far away from the Earth that there's no gravity, so everything just floats. <clears throat> to be honest, I actually used to think that too. But that is so wrong. When things are in low Earth orbit, they still feel 90% of Earth's gravitational pull. So if there's all that gravity pulling on them, why is everything floating? Before we answer that question, let's start out here on Earth with a little experiment. I've got two types of airsoft BBs. Now they're the same size, but they have different masses, which means they have different densities. The white ones are more than twice as dense as the yellow ones. So what do you think will happen when I shake this sucker up? The yellow ones wound up on top. Now, this is even easier to see when I fill the tube full of water. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. So why does that happen? It's the same reason that some things float in water while others sink. The more dense something is, the greater the gravitational force acting upon it in a given region. So, things that are more dense can push their way to the bottom. Without any shaking, the solids actually stayed exactly where I put them in, and that's due to friction. But when you shake it up a lot, it allows those solid BBs to overcome the force of friction and be separated by density. You can see this really well in this video where a guy has a big tub of sand that he's shaking and balls of different densities sink or float. Uh, Tom, but I thought this video was about why things float in space. I'm getting there. Take it easy. Now, if we were to send a tube full of BBs of different densities up to space, give them a shake, what do you think would happen? Would they still be separated by density? Luckily, some really cool folks did just that, so we can see what happens to those BBs on the ISS. Cool, they're floating! the same way that everything seems to float up there in low Earth orbit. So what is going on? I've got two words for you. Free fall. Free fall doesn't mean that there's no gravity acting upon the objects. It means that gravity is the only force acting on them. And when there are no other forces, the acceleration due to gravity is constant. No matter how massive something is, gravity accelerates it at the same rate. Okay, slow down. The International Space Station is in free fall? I thought it was just chilling 250 miles above the Earth taking lots of cool selfies. Well, it is 250 miles up, but it is not chilling. It literally rocketed off the surface of the Earth in order to enter orbit. Engine start, six engines up and running, and lift off. If they had shot it too fast, it could have gone actually all the way off to another planet. And if they had launched it too slowly, it would have come back to Earth just like a cannonball. But some really smart people figured out the perfect speed at which right when it began to fall back towards the Earth, it was going so fast that it kept missing, leaving it in a constant state of free fall that we call low Earth orbit. So back to those BBs. If what I'm telling you is correct, and the reason they don't separate on the ISS is because they're in free fall, then if I put them into free fall right now, the footage should match what we see on the ISS. Let's go. Okay, we're here on the roof. Let's see what happens when we put these things in free fall. Are okay, you ready? You can actually see the exact same thing when I just lightly toss them up in the air. Cool. Very cool. I don't know about you, but I'm convinced. Why does everything float in the International Space Station? Because it's in free fall. Just like our BBs. This is Science with Tom, 
signing out. Yep. Everybody's got questions. Most interesting ones don't have easy answers. Everybody's got questions. But as we get older, we tend to stop asking. Everybody's got questions. Your brain's an insatiable question machine.